For all your embroidery and digitizing needs, call Bees Embroidery. People don't really realize when they start plugging in their trees and maybe they're plugging in their house and maybe they're plugging in different things that all this stuff is all connected to your house and sometimes it's on the same breaker and that can pose a problem. We get too many things plugged in all at the same time and we can pose a problem. If your G GFI is popping, that there's a reason, it's a safety. If your GFI, that means you have too many things overloaded. It's too many things plugged in on one circuit. The LEDs draw a lot less power, so we're seeing a lot less things with the newer lighting, mm -hmm. but we still have a lot of folks that are still using their old lights, mm -hmm. which, you know, I'm guilty of it myself. I have bundles and bundles of lights that, huh. I, you know, I don't want to go spend the money. It'll cost me so much money to replace all of those lights with the LEDs. The LEDs are great and they use a lot less power, but you still need to be cognizant of they're plugging in power cords along with their space heaters and their space heaters are taking up a lot of electricity and then we're getting overloaded. So you have to really be careful with space heaters next to Christmas trees. Christmas trees, fake or alive, they'll all burn, they'll all catch fire. Should you use an outlet strip with a fuse? Is that helpful? That is helpful. Um, it, they definitely are an extra protection. But anything that's overloaded, if your house is wired properly, you should have GFIs. And if the GFI pops, that's your indicator that you're overloaded. Don't just keep plugging it back in and resetting the GFI. A lot of people light candles at this time of the year. What's some of the precautions that you should take? You should always have something under your candle. So a lot of people use the big pillar candles, especially this time of year, the big pillar candles. Make sure you have a safety, a plate even, a, you know, a glass plate. Make sure there's a safety underneath that pillar candle. We've seen them burn through fiberglass bathtubs because people are setting candles that are just pillar candles on their bathtub thinking there's no way it's going to heat enough to burn through this. Yeah, it'll burn right through the fiberglass of the bathtub. Oh. So you've got radiant heat too, so never put a candle underneath something mm -hmm. where that radiant heat of that flame can catch drapes on fire, anything that you might have hanging, stockings on fire. So be very cognizant what is above that candle too. It's unfortunate to lose a home any time of the year, but this time of year it's cold, it's Christmas, no one wants to be out of their home for something simple.